Friends, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I'm so glad you found your way to my little corner of the internet. Friends, it is time for a June closeout. Let's dive into it, shall we? So, as always, we're going to start on this side of the planner. So let's just zoom in here. So, grab my handy dandy pen. I don't know where my other one went. I only have my, my Christmassy plaid one. Um, okay, <clears throat> Let's look at things. So goals for the month. Did I read two books? You betcha. I actually did only read two books this month. It is just, I don't know what it is. I have not been as like, I think because the weather's nice. We've been playing outside, doing other things. Um, I, sh I feel like it's been a busy month too. So I just have not been read. I haven't been doing as much. <laughs> like uh, more stuff around the house, less um, like less on, I haven't even been on YouTube very much, like watching other people or um like comment I need to get back to comments guys I'm working on it I am slow I need to be better about it anyway I read two books I'm good with that because I'm well ahead of my goal for the year I'm happy with that I have been drinking my 80 ounces of water a day which I'm really proud of um I have started adding in the flavor packets because honestly it makes me drink it better and then movement I'm giving myself half on that I have been trying to be outside and do some stuff but there's room for improvement now, over here, I finally reorganized my desk. Cha-ching! Booyah! Um, and then reorganized upstairs. No, um, that is something I thought I would get to. I did not. I think I'm going to work on that um, potentially the first week of July. Like, literally, probably this coming week because... I think I'll have some time. We'll see. And I did clean the house for my birthday. I had a fabulous birthday. Thank you all so much for the birthday wishes and the love and support. I had an amazing weekend. I got to do all the things I wanted to do. I got my nails done. I did a massage. I got my toes done. We went out to eat. I binged on pizza and cake. Um, I had champagne. I got to spend it some like the day of with the kids. My sister came over. I got to see with my mom group. Like just all good things. It was it was a great great weekend. I what a way to start 30, right? All right. So we're going to zoom out for a second. So this is done. Really easy this month. Keeping it as low key. All right. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. All right. Zoom in. Okay, so income, we know if you watched any of my cash stuffings and or budgets with me, you know we were a heck of a lot better when it comes to our income. So let's add it up real quick and see what the final number was. Holy crap, holy. Okay, so the final total for the month was $9,000. $351.25. I am for certain that that is the most we've ever made. Um, big part of that, my husband worked 11 days straight at a job. It sucked for us because he was gone the entire time. Um, but it was really nice. We were able to do, put a lot towards our vacation fund and things like that. Um, and then he actually got a few extra hours the next week because he had to do some training for the following job. And then, um, he ended up going to a new job site, so that was why this one was a little less. But we ultimately are like $2,000 more than we projected, which is fabulous. Um, now we're going to see where it all landed. <laughs> okay, moving down. Bills. Let's zoom out a smidge in there. Okay, all of our bills came out. Um, our landlord still hasn't cashed our May check. Um, he is the sweetest little old man, but I think he may have lost it. So I asked, we asked him about it, and he's, he's supposed to look... Um, he doesn't remember. So we will find out. Our May check is still sitting in our account. So we're kind of using that as just like a buffer right now. But let's add up our bills and see how close we were with our um, budget. Okay, so this is going to say that we were over. Um, but the reason it says that is because when I put money aside, because we are a month ahead, I will always, so our garbage is paid bi-monthly, so I don't put that into a separate account. I just let it roll over, but when it clears, I put the exact amount, like, when we actually pay it every other month, um, so that I know, like, if it changes or if we've had any, like, weird charges. So technically, yes, this is going to say that we are over, even though we are not, because that was already in there, and that's just how, that's just how my brain does it, right? Okay. All right, let's boogie on down here to debt 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 um this one i'm really thrilled about so okay so we were able to put 
uh, 434. 84. The 3484 is that payment protection we have on that card. And ultimately what that is, is it covers in case Cody were to um, get hurt while working, if he lost his job or God forbid anything super bad happened, um, we can get this, we can have it paid kind of thing. So <clears throat> it's only a percentage of, of the balance we carry and um, it's really not that much in the grand scheme of things. Okay, Quasco, we actually dumped a ton to this. So we had, we paid eighteen seventy five to this one, which was awesome sauce. We are working on making a dent in that. And you guys stay tuned for my debt update. It's going to come later in July. Um, just because we are going to go two weeks without paycheck in July. So I kind of spread out the content. So just keep, keep your eyeballs peeled for that. And then our camper, we paid one <clears throat> eighteen to. I over budgeted with one twenty, but we knew we were pretty close to that. All right, $2,427.84 to debt. Mm, that is a great debt payment. I am proud of that. I am digging that. That was good. Okay, while we're down here, let's jump over to this one. <clears throat> so we did have to do some adjustments on this one. Um, groceries ended up being two seventy five. dollars And guys, so that I could avoid flipping pages back and forth so often. Ooh, I forgot I was zoomed in and I shouldn't be slinging my hands around. Um, I just went through and added everything and wrote it down on the side. So that way we can get through this a little easier. Um, Cody ended up getting 150. So when he was out of town, we had to take some of our grocery money and give it to him. And I had to round it up to do a solid 20, like in 20s, because he was going to an ATM. Um, eating out. For some reason, I thought we were going to be eating out a lot. I did not because I got paid for. I should have known that. So 45 and then um, $20 in coffee. I didn't, I don't know why that didn't end up being more. Um, either way, regardless, we did really well. So uh, let's add that up. So we were $4.90 over here, which is way better than we were expecting. So that's awesome. All right, now comes the fun stuff. So the other thing is sinking funds. Let me zoom you out just a smidge. Okay. So with sinking funds, we actually have three other areas that I have to add in that were not calculated in our original monthly budget. So we had um, health and welfare, which I forgot to even budget for the month. That was something where the union my husband was working in, um, we had to set aside a certain amount each week to make sure that our it's like a supplemental because they don't pay enough to cover his monthly health and medical health and wellness health and I don't even know basically our health insurance. <laughs> um, so this one was going to be, I'm not even going to put a budgeted amount in, but <clears throat> I will put in what we ended up putting aside. So we put aside $225. Um, it roughly equates to like $75 a week. We're going to see how that pans out. Typically, um, we won't see like the repercussions of it, I guess you could say, until um, it's like a two month. So basically May, we would find out in July if we were short. June, we'll find out in August if we were short. So um it's it's really obnoxious and really annoying <laughs> but we paid a lot last time so I'm hopeful that we won't have to even pay any of this and we can just leave this in our three to six month ahead as a cushion in there um <clears throat> the other thing we had was babysitting um I did not plan on babysitting but there were a couple of times where we needed it so we did end up spending $70 on babysitting um just a couple of nights where I had the girls come over our neighbor girls come over and watch the kids for me which worked out wonderfully it was so nice um gosh and I I do I pay them $10 an hour which I don't know if that I feel like that some people in our area think that's really a lot but um, usually it's not just, there's three girls and it's not just the one that watches them typically. Usually there's multiple. There's like, cause there's three of, so <clears throat> I alternate who I pay and then I'm like, if you guys want to pay each other, by all means have at it. Okay. And then there was one more like other category where we like, I had to just kind of cash flow some things. So there's like an Amazon purchase. There was something else. And basically we're just going to list it all under other um, the dump, and that was 110 total for the month. So, yes, that is how that shook out. We had some other, and I don't typically budget like miscellaneous stuff in my monthly budget because right now, um, 
it's one of those where the monthly budget is basically to kind of go over these main areas, bills, debts, sinking funds, and then our cash envelopes. But then our week to week is where I really get down to the nitty gritty and if there are things that we need to do on a month to month or a week to week basis, um, we do that. So anyway, that's why we're adding those in so we can get an accurate number at the bottom. All right. Um, family fun. So all of these basically got more than, than we were expecting, which is fabulous. So family fun ended up with 30 clothing ended up with 45 date night ended up with 50 pets ended up with 130. Um, chickens was the only one kept it solid, had nothing. Um, garden ended up with 50 gifts ended up with 58 anniversary got 65 end of the world oh that one we were on the nose eight dollars <laughs> i love that <laughs> we got that one right um holidays we were also on the nose with that one um that was also 200 um some of these i don't change because i don't want to i don't want to change it um and then wax i only put 10 this was a total budget mess up on my part um, because that was for a week, not a month. <laughs> and I think I did the same thing with hair. <laughs> so wax was 40. Hair ended up only being 60 versus um, 80. Because I think we were originally we going to do 80. But I realized my hair appointment came in before our final check came through. So it's no big deal. Um, and then we also ended up putting money into nails. So nails got 20. And then massage and girls night out, girls night out, 20 and massage got 20 as well. Um, that was from our overtime check. I did give myself a little um, something special for going 11 days with the children all by myself. I said, can I have a little wee bonus in my, in my, I'm just kidding. Um, because my, my husband knew I was going out with friends. So he did get, he said, not that we do, we talk about this and not like he let me, but it was one of those where I'm like, I'm going to give myself some extra spending money this time because we have it. Normally I don't. So yeah. Anyway, we are a partner in all things, but sometimes I just, we, I need, I need to get out. Anyway. Okay. Christmas. So this time Christmas got the least, uh, not the least, but on the lower end because we finished our 1000. So now we're slowly, but surely. So we did hit the 800 for our long-term savings, but Christmas got 80. Emergency actually did really well. It got 185, which it needed it because I'm trying to build it back up. Car maintenance got 45. I probably need to start st hitting that one a little harder too. Propane for sure needs some more love. It got 80. Health and medical actually did really well. We got 50 in there. And then preschool, that's where we're dumping a lot of our focus, 330 there, and then $30 into my husband's hobbies. Um, so that, we hit our goal there of the 800. That one's looking really good. All right, and then last but not least, what we set aside for challenges was actually 1,080. Now, that said, it actually is more than that for the fact that we had a ton of rollover from down here. So... Yeah, it was a good month. Like we, I mean, we did, we did some, we did some things. It's great. All right. So let's add this up really quick and see how things shook out. And then we'll come down and we'll do our final totals and see how things are going. All right. 3,081 to sinking funds. So let's go in and see how this all shook out. All right, <clears throat> so let me zoom in down here. Wee, there we go. Okay, so our total income was nine three five one twenty five, which is I'm still in awe about twenty one sixty eight. Um, oh six. Didn't. Was twenty four, twenty seven, eighty four, four ninety, and last but not least, sinking funds, three thousand eighty one. Okay, let's do the math on this and see how things shook out. All right, so <clears throat> let me zoom you out a smidge. So the uh, when you add it all up, you're like. 
it's like, oh, 118435. Where did we put that? I remember. <laughs> so we put $1,150 um, into our savings for my husband to take time off. So technically we are sitting with a wee overage, which is what's probably in our buffer of actually it's additional to our buffer, but 34, 35, um, because yes, the 1150 is in our three to six month saving. And that is going to cover for our two weeks of that. He isn't getting paid for our month ahead. I don't cover for anything else besides these bills, uh, because we can function around everything. And then typically because we pay all like our debts weekly, the minimum payments are definitely met and then some. So anyway, you will see in July's monthly budget how that all is going to break down for July. Anyway, friends, that is the closeout for the month of June. It was a great month. We did some amazing things. Stay tuned for the rest of this month um, of July. We have our July budget with me coming up. Um, we have a lot of different content coming up, a lot of um, updates. So debt update, savings update. Um, we've got goals update date. We are going to have some vlogs. Um, we're going to have a lot of different things just given that we are going to be skipping two paychecks. So anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed this closeout. I feel like after six months, I'm finally getting the hang of the monthly budget closeout. Um, and yeah, n coming up next, you'll see on what is this today's Sunday that you're seeing this. So Tuesday, I think you're going to see the July budget with me. Um, it's going to be interesting. That's for sure. So anyway, friends, I appreciate you guys hanging out. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are on our way to 2k and friends until next time, remember to spread kindness like glitter. Bye y'all.